Hey guys, I hope y'all are having a great day today. So this video is gonna be all about the under eyes. This is gonna be a realistic, no filter routine for helping to cancel out a lot of darkness and to help minimize the appearance of under eye bags. So I'm gonna show you the routine that I like to do to help my under eye area just look brighter and just look a lot more polished. Now, if you think you have some stuff going on on your under eyes like me, some wrinkles, some lines, some bags, some darkness, some other things, I do want you to be realistic with your expectations as we go through this routine. We can certainly use makeup to help us minimize or enhance the appearance of certain things on our face, but makeup is not magic. So don't expect your under eyes to look super filtered if you have a lot of stuff going on. This routine is gonna help you deal with the darkness and to help you minimize the appearance of your eye bags, but your eye bags are still going to be there, okay? They're just gonna look a lot better. So I'm gonna be showing you how I go from this to this. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so here is what my under eyes look like before I start putting on any makeup. So I just have on skincare for right now. So I have on some hyaluronic acid, a little bit of avocado oil, a vitamin E. It's a face cream, but I use it as an under eye cream and I have on uh, sunscreen. So I'll put my specific products in the description box in case you're interested in what I use. But whatever you use for your skincare, you just wanna make sure that your under eye area is nice and prep for makeup because that'll help the makeup up apply better and it'll also help the makeup perform better during the day so just make sure that your under eyes are nice and cleansed and nice and hydrated and moisturized so on my under eyes I have a bunch of lines like right under the eye and then right underneath that is where I have the puffiness from my eye bags so when I smile or when I make certain facial expressions a lot of what's going on on the under eye area is just naturally going to get exaggerated so when I go like this and smile you can see like all of that stuff on the under eye it just kind of gets squinched up and it just looks more noticeable so that's going to happen like whether or not I'm wearing makeup because that's just my skin so keep that in mind as we go through the routine depending on what you have going on on your under eye area you may not be able to like completely get rid of like every little issue that you think that you have we will be able to make the under eye area just look a little bit more polished but have some realistic expectations because your skin is what it is you know whether you're putting on makeup on top of it or not so just keep that in mind so we're gonna start off with I'm gonna quickly speed through applying my foundation because I do want you to see that I'm applying it around the under eye area so because we're gonna go on the under eye area with some concealer it's just not necessary for us to also put foundation down there that's just gonna be an extra unnecessary layer of product Okay, so the foundation is all nice and blended out. And as you can see, the under eye area still looks pretty dark because again, I blended it around the under eye area. So you can tell that right under my lash line, I have a bunch of little lines there. So as I start applying the makeup to this area, I'm gonna try my best to always avoid those lines under the eye. For me, it's kind of inevitable that I'm gonna get some makeup in there, but just know that if you have lines like me, when you put makeup on those lines, most likely some of that makeup is gonna sink down down into the lines and it's just going to make those lines look more exaggerated so sometimes you're not able to help that but I would say just do your best to try to avoid these lines under the eyes if you can so right under where I have a bunch of those lines that's where I have that puffiness from my eye bag and that's also where I have a good amount of the darkness so that's what we're going to be working on for today so I'm going to do this in two steps and my first step is going to be color corrector so I like using the Kevin Aquan sensual skin and as a color corrector this isn't marketed as a color corrector but I like using it like that because of the shade of it so this is the shade 13 and I'm hoping you guys can tell that this has kind of like a peachy undertone to it and that's why I like using it as a corrector and also this is like the most full coverage concealer <laughs> that I have ever come across so it does really well at canceling out darkness but also covering stuff up so because this stuff is pretty full coverage though it can be kind of easy to go overboard with it so I like like actually applying this with an eyeshadow brush so what I like to do is I like to just take the brush and just dip it right into um, dip the tip of the brush into the product and then if I feel like I picked up too much I'll just like 
brush it off on the side. And what I like to do is I'm going to try to concentrate my color corrector just on the areas where I have the darkness. So if you watch my videos regularly, sometimes you'll see me take the concealer, the Kevin Aquan one, and I'll just like swipe it all over my under eye. That's just kind of like force of habit, but that's really not how it should be applied. You really want to try to concentrate your color corrector just on the areas that you need to correct. So you don't want to apply the color corrector all along your um, under eye area, just on the areas that need to be corrected. So for me, that's like right in the inner part of the under eye area and then like right on that eye bag. And I'm going to try to stop it right here. And then again, I'm going to try to avoid these little lines on my under eye area. So I'm going to start with what I picked up on the brush and I'm just going to start brushing on that inner part of the eye. I do like to drag mine up just a little bit. I usually have marks on the sides of my nose from my glasses. And then I'm just gonna keep kind of patting this down until I get to like right where the eye bag stops. And then I just like to brush over it like this. I know a lot of people like to apply color corrector or even like their brightening concealer with their fingers. So, you know, use whatever your preference is, but I like applying it like this because I think that this helps me to just, it just prevents me from putting on too much product. Like every time I've tried to use my fingers, I just feel like I'm applying way too much. So this doesn't have to be like perfectly blended out because we are gonna go on top of it with another concealer, but you do wanna make sure it's blended out. If it's not blended and you have it too concentrated in one small area, that's actually gonna make it look more noticeable, especially underneath and under another uh, concealer. So just, you know, blend it out so that you kinda can't tell where it starts and stops for the most part. And that's pretty much where I'm gonna stop. Now, if you feel like you need to go on top of this with another layer, then just repeat that step, but just make sure you're building it up very slowly because especially if you're gonna use this, like I said, this stuff is really full coverage and it is really easy to just apply too much. So I'm gonna stop right there and you should be able to tell that this eye, um, it, the Kevin Aquan concealer, it just helps to give the illusion that the eye bag is just not as visible as it really is because a lot of the darkness has been canceled out and the eye bag has been covered up so you can still kind of see like the silhouette of it like you can still see like the shape of it on my under eye but overall this under eye just already looks a lot better because of that color corrector so next I'm gonna go on top of that with a brightening concealer I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills magic touch concealer in the shade 15 so for this concealer you want it to be like one or two shades lighter than your skin tone. And because we had the Kevin Aquan concealer on already, we don't have to slather on a whole lot of this because we already got a lot of coverage going on. But I am gonna put on a pretty good amount because I do want the, co the coverage and the brightness. I'm also putting this concealer everywhere else where I normally would. And what I like to do is I like to blend out the concealer in all the other areas first so that the concealer on the under eye is sitting for a couple of minutes and it'll thicken up a little bit and that'll also give me a little more coverage. So while this is sitting, I'm gonna start blending out the rest of my concealer. And when I get to the under eye area, I like to blend this area out with a brush. So if you prefer to use a sponge, use whatever you prefer, but I definitely like using brushes because a sponge is gonna automatically shear out your product. So if you go in with a brush, that's going to help give you more coverage as well. So I like using a nice dense brush like this. This is the uh, Rare Beauty foundation brush, but I always use it for my concealer. So to blend this concealer out, I like to just tap the brush on top of the concealer and I like to concentrate this on the inner part of the under eye the same place we concentrated the color corrector and I like to just tap it to blend it out and then when I feel like I have it nice and blended like in the inner part of the under eye then I like to start dragging it out. And when I do this part, this is the part where I usually get like makeup in those little lines. 
but I do, I know I said this like a million times, but I do try to avoid those lines as I'm going over. And then when I get over here, this little bit of concealer over here is really just meant to help me clean up the eyeshadow and to give my, my eyes like that lifted effect. I really don't need like coverage over here. I really just need it to, to like sculpt, I guess. And then I also like to drag my under eye concealer kind of down to where my nose stops and then drag that out to the temple as well. So right along here, I'm using the concealer to give me a gradient from the concealer to the foundation and to add just a little bit of brightness right up in here. But I'm definitely concentrating most of the product right in the inner part of the under eye area because that is where I want the most coverage and that's definitely where I want the most brightness to counter the darkness that I have going on underneath the concealer. So I'm just gonna tap over it one more time to make sure it's nice and flat. And then my next step is to go ahead and set it so that it won't crease. So where's my setting powder? A lot of people love using loose powders for this. And again, you know, use what your preference is. I like using pressed powders. I think pressed powders just lay nicer on the skin, especially when you're putting powders on areas that have like lines and wrinkles. I think pressed powders just lay on top of those things a lot better. So I'm gonna pick this up on a rather tapered brush like so and I want to pick up enough to set the concealer but I don't want to go overboard with the powder and then I'm just going to tap right on the immediate under eye area. So even though I dragged my concealer all the way down and all the way out, in this area, I usually set that with whatever I'm gonna set my foundation with, but for the under eye area, I like to just concentrate it right here. Okay, so that is what the under eye is looking like. So again, you can still kind of see the silhouette of my eye bag and you can see like those little lines under my eye. But overall, this under eye just looks a lot better now that we've brightened it up and that we've created the illusion that that eye bag is just not as visible as it really is. So I hope that you guys can see a drastic difference from before to after. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed through doing this eye, but I do want you to see the process one more time and then I'll do the rest of my makeup off camera. Okay guys, here is my finished look for today. So here is one more look at my under eye area with my face all done up. So I know that you can still see some stuff going on on the under eye area. You can kind of see like where the outline of the bags are and you can probably still make out some of those lines in the immediate under eye area. And if I laugh or smile or something like this, then you can definitely see some stuff kind of like on the corners of my eye. But overall, my under eye area, they just look more bright and more polished. So if you have some stuff going on on the under eye like I do, I know that this is easier said than done, but don't be so self-conscious about it. It's way worse stuff going on in the world and you are still beautiful. Don't forget it. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel before you head out and I will see y'all back here for my next one. Until then, take care. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.